What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today I'm going to show you the DPS app which is, it's free to download through Thermaltake and it works with any of Thermaltake's DPSG power supplies. Um, it's more or less companion software, It'll give you a lot of information of what's going on with your power supply and all the power and all of that stuff. So when you go ahead and open it, it's going to be on this screen that you see right here and we can see our values. So we have our five volt rail, which of course is running at five volts. We can you know, go to our 3.3 and our 12 volt. And it's actually gonna show you the amps as well on that rail as you change these down here. Um, it will show you all of that, which is actually pretty cool. We do have our fan speed. So you can see what speed the fan is running currently. Um, and then you can actually go in, this little dial here is actually for settings. It's on, we're on silent mode. But if we go to performance and hit done, we can go ahead and see that it will increase that fan speed there. Um, you know, so whatever you're doing, maybe you're gaming or something like that, you could turn the fan speed up if you want and all of that. So we'll go back to silent on that. We can go ahead and see our temperature. This is temperature inside the power supply. Of course, you know, this is good if you don't want things running too hot or something like that. You can obviously check out your temperatures here. We have our cost. So you can actually go into our, your settings here and set your kilowatt per hour price. Um, that is usually on your electric bill. So you can go find your electric bill, find out how much you're paying per kilowatt hour, put that into here. And then this is gonna calculate how much it's gonna cost to run your system, which is actually pretty cool. You know, especially if you're doing something like, you know, cryptocurrency mining or something, you wanna see how much it's gonna to cost to run your system. You can go ahead and calculate that right here. We can see our total watts on the system. So this is how many watts our entire system is pulling. This is good. You know, you wanna see how efficient or how energy efficient certain components are. You can obviously check it all right here. And we can actually see our efficiency um, for the power supply, what it's running at in current time. And then we can actually record. So what's actually pretty cool about the software, it records every six hours. So every six hours, it's gonna log for you. It's gonna log everything um, automatically. And then we have these different ones that have been logged. And if we go into one, actually we'll go into a longer one. I think I do have one that's longer maybe. But these are all, yeah, these are all six hours. So what we'll do is you can see our amp voltage and efficiency. Um, on all of the rails, 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3.3 volt, you can see all of that right there. And then it goes over time, you know, you can see how everything changes depending on what we're doing. You can see at this point, we were using a lot of wattage. Um, I think we were doing some, some uh, video card testing. So you can see how high this went up, you know, our watts went up, but you can see, you know, your cost over time, you know, what it's gonna be, all of that kind of stuff, your, our temperature, everything like that over time, which is actually pretty cool. So, you know, if you're doing some testing or you wanna see how your uh, system is performing as far as power goes, you can have this log and test everything and see, you know, how everything is running, which is actually pretty cool. And that is basically it. There are some basic settings, you know, you can change languages, go to support, user's manual, software update, all of that stuff. But this is actually pretty cool software. Again, it's very easy to use. Um, you know, if you've never really dealt with anything like this, everything's really easy to see. You know, you can see everything in real time. It just makes it that easy to see it all. And of course, this is a digital power supply. So it's great that we have this software that we're able to go ahead and check out all these values in real time and see how everything is going. So this has been our quick overview of the DPS app from Thermaltake. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.